Okay, welcome to this week's episode of Love Summit, and we're gonna get back to the how we do things video. The last couple of videos, we went to an RV show, we went to a place where you can take your Airstream, but this one's gonna be how we set up and put up our hitch gear after we're done towing. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you click down at the bottom here to subscribe, and we will get right to it here. Okay, this is the first of three different scenarios we're gonna show you, and that's where people just kind of put their gear on the ground. And I totally don't recommend this, primarily because any grease that you put on your hitch ball, your sway bar ball, or your weight distribution bars, they're gonna pick up dirt. And the worst thing you can do with grease is to have dirt in it, because what that's gonna do is act as kind of like a, a, a grinding surface, and it's gonna even be worse than having no lubricant at all. So um, I've seen people put them on the ground and that's fine, but that's not how we do things. So. Uh, we're going to move to probably one of the more common ways of putting up your hitch gear for the night next okay this is probably one of the most common ways that we see people put up their hitch gear and so they'll take their sway bars and you can see there's like a hole in the center there and they'll take it right where the sway bar latches yep Put it right on like that. Kind of looks cool. And then they'll take their hitch and just have that sitting there in the receiver. And I don't like this for two reasons. A, first of all, I think it it's kind of makes it easy to steal your Airstream. Somebody could just come up, put that thing up, slide in their receiver, and drive on off. The other reason I don't like this is because it weighs, this my hitch assembly here, weighs 48 pounds, 48.7 pounds. And to me, just leaving it hanging like that puts stress on some of the parts of the receiver, and I just don't like that. So I chose solution number three, which we're gonna show you next. Okay, so this is the solution that I've come up with, and it's to build this little hitch box. And I've been using this for 17 years now, and it's done really well for me. So this was something I designed, I built, you can see it's got two handles so that I can move it forward and back. What's it made of? This is just uh, standard uh, plywood. A certain thickness? No, uh, it's pretty thick. I don't know what thickness it is, but it's uh, it's pretty sturdy because obviously you have to hold some of this heavy gear. It's got a hook so that if you need to hook it and pull it out. Um, it's also got these little three guys up here, and that's for what I'm actually towing. The little rubber protectors. The little covers. The little covers for the hitch ball could fit just like that so that they have a place to go inside I have my torque wrench I'll torque the Airstream lug nuts every um, month or so uh, then I'll also every trip I'll also use a um, just a regular ratchet to make sure they're tight but I actually torque them right to the uh, 85 pound feet that's specified with the torque wrench that goes that goes in there I have my hitch ball wrench just in case I need that, that goes in there. I also have the two uh, sockets for the uh, truck and the Airstream sockets to go into the torque wrench so that I can also torque the truck's lug nuts. Easy access. This is my high temperature grease that we use to grease the hitch ball. And I keep it, as you can see, tightly sealed in this container with a- uh, A hole in the middle. Yeah, we put a hole in the middle so that we can Get a little brush. Have the little uh, foam applicator. Again, like I said, with the uh, hitch gear on the ground, it's really super important not to let any dirt or particulate matter get into your grease because that'll act as a significant abrasive. So that's stored here. That keeps it nice and covered so that no dirt gets into that either. Exactly. And then finally, we come to the hitch stuff. So my two sway bars fit like this. My sway bar itself um, with the two little prongs will sit on the inside here. <coughs> and then finally the hitch ball itself. <coughs> you, can you, see, you say that's pretty heavy. It's 48.7 pounds. And you have a special hook or something on it so it's easy to get in and out, right? Right. And so what I've done is this is a, a muffler kind of holder and I've taken some rope so that it makes it easier to grip 
whipped it around the uh, top of the clamp here. And then with the bolts, I put it through the hole of the hitch. That turns it into a nice handle. It turns that into a, yeah, exactly. So it, it makes it easier to lift into the, into the box here. And you can see how handy this muffler hanger is with the rope tie tied around it. You just put it into the hole there. And when you're ready to remove your hitch from the receiver, you just kind of take it, pull it right out like that. It makes it easy to carry. Yep, totally easy to carry. So we'll take this little guy, put him around. So the ball rests inside on the wood, right? Yep, it just rests on like that. And then what I'll do is I'll slide that on in. And when I'm ready to Use it, slide it right out like that. So everything stayed inside, it stays dry, it keeps the anything um, out of any dirt, any dust. Any fluffy stuff floating in the wind. Right, especially like these guys right here which have lubricant in them, uh, grease. That keeps it from uh, getting dust blown into them and again acting as an abrasive. Of course, the downside to this is it takes up space in the truck, um, so that's a downside, but nevertheless, uh, 17 years, I think it's been uh, pretty useful to us. So that's kind of how we do things, and like I say, it's worked for us for the last 17 years. It doesn't mean it's the right way. Perhaps you have a better way of doing it, and if you do, definitely leave a comment down below. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video, um, and definitely subscribe down below. Click on the button if you haven't already. Um, that's kind of it for this week's uh episode of love sub and as near as i can count it is episode number 20 and so we're cranking things out we will have some plans for the summer and spring coming up here soon i think our road is the problem right now that's what we're worried about but nevertheless uh give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next week every tuesday air streaming content